All right, this is Luis Sandoval, fighthide.com, with my man, Gabe Rosado. Gabe, man, always see you in the gym, man. How, how's it going, man? Give the fans an update. What's been going on with Gabe Rosado so far? Um, you know, just working, training every day, man. Um, pretty much uh, getting, everything's in, getting everything in order as far as business-wise. You know, um, adding, like, an advisor to my team and things like that, just getting things organized. You know, because a lot of times, um, I think, like, the last... Uh, I would say like the last three years, I've been my own manager, my own advisor, man. And I think when you wear too many hats, it distracts you sometimes from, you know, doing what you got to do in the gym, man. I think like now it's time for me to just be like, look, man, I, I'm, I'm a control freak, man. But I'm like, yo, you know what? I just need to do my job and just train, man, and just kind of like pass that on to somebody that I trust. So, um, you know, I got I got Damian Ramirez on my team now, and, you know, he's handling some things for me and stuff like that, Michelle. So... They're working together. And um, I think that's a plus, you know what I mean? It's, it's just going to allow me to focus more in the gym. How soon do you want to get back in the gym? I know every fighter, that's all they want to do. They want to fight, Gabe. But, I mean, are you, are you okay right now just training and keeping busy or are you getting that itch where you want to be back in the ring already? No, I definitely want to I definitely want to fight, but I want to fight under the right conditions, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of times um, you want to get to the top so bad that sometimes, you know, you kind of rush your way up there. And you kind of you can make some wrong some bad moves or or, or take 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 the wrong fight or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think you know is a is a is a strategy on how you set yourself up to get to that to that fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, and um, right now, man, I'm I'm learning to be patient. I'm learning for, to to get the right fight. You know what I'm saying and go into a fight. You know, mentally prepared and physically prepared. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, it's a, it's a lot that goes into going into a big fight. You feel me? So I, I definitely want to fight, but I just want to make sure everything's right, you know? It gave me the one fight we talked about last time, man, that, that I actually asked Robert Garcia about was you and Margarito BKV, man. He loved that idea. He said yeah. he was going to bring it up to him, man. Have you heard anything, man? Is that still a fight that, that you'd be interested in? I think, I think that fight has a lot of potential to happen because, you know, he's, uh, he's coming back. I know he's, he, you know, he's a fighter. You know, he's probably missing the, you know, he's probably missing the action. So, um, you know, I know he's down for it, and Robert's down for it. I'm down for it. I think it makes a lot of sense, especially if you put a fight like that um, out here in L.A. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it'll do big. Um, so, you know, it's a fight that I think will definitely, definitely get happen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I haven't sat down to talk to anybody about it, you know, came up with a, with a strategy of how to do it, whatever. But, you know, I think it's definitely, I think it's definitely, it can happen. Is it, is it going to be that Puerto Rican-Mexican rivalry, too, in that one, do you think? Or is it just a fun fight, just giving you guys a style? be the first one on BKB, right? <laughs> we'll get that shit started. That's a good one. Nah, yeah, you know, um, it's always it's always that rivalry because, um, you know, uh, Mexico, Puerto Rico. You know, even though it's funny because I think, like, my biggest fan base is, like, Mexicans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, I, I, it's, a, it's a healthy, it's a healthy competition. You feel me? It's not like, it's not like you know, you Puerto Ricans hate Mexico and Mexico hates Puerto Ricans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not like that. Yeah. You know, it's just a healthy. You know, I mean, I think the best fighters come from Mexico and Puerto Rico. Absolutely. You know, a lot of guys in, around your division, man. I mean, you know, there's James Kirkland, guys like that. I know he's probably gone back with Ann Wolf right now. You know, does that fight kind of interest you, or, or fights of that nature kind of, you know, will be what will bring you back? Yeah, without a doubt. You know. Um, you know, they mentioned Kirkland to me, and it, I definitely like the fight, you know, but at the same time, it's like when it comes down to Kirkland, you can't really put your hopes up because you never know you never know where Kirkland's at mentally, you know. One minute he wants to fight, and the next minute he's like, nah, he's, he's firing his whole team, and he's, like, <laughs> pulling out of the fight. So it's like, you, I mean, you never know when it comes down to Kirkland, you know. So it's like if I sign a contract to fight Kirkland, they got to give me a big advance up front. <laughs> you know what I mean? If the fight's canceled, it's like at least I got my advance money. But, you know, so you never know with Kirkland, man. But it's a fight that I think is definitely good for the fans. It's a fight that I definitely would like. I think, you know, if it makes sense business-wise, you know, because it's not a tune-up fight. I mean, Kirkland ain't a tune-up fight, regardless of how, you know, regardless of how he got knocked out in his last fight. You know, shit happens, but he's not a tune-up fight, you know, so it definitely got to make sense business-wise. But, um, you know, it's a fight I definitely would, would look into. You know, supposedly he's gone back with Ann Wolf. At least that's what they're saying. Do you think that makes a big difference in, in him, Gabe, as to what we saw in his last fight? Does that big make that big of a deal? Absolutely, absolutely, because... Um, you know, a trainer is a big deal in a fighter's camp. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, if, you tra if, you, if your trainer ain't right, then 
you know what I'm saying? What kind of camp are you going to have, you know? So I think it's important. You know, you see it with, like, Kodo. Look at how Kodo, you know, his he's more positive. He's more confident being with Freddie. Mm -hmm. I think that's, you know, he's found his match, you know. And I think so. I think um, tra a trainer is important. I think and Wolf, um, I think he's undefeated with Ann Wolf, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so, you know, he's he's a different, he's in better shape and more focused when he's with Ann Wolf. So, you know, I think he strays away from her when he doesn't want to work hard, you know? Because, you know, she puts him through hell, I guess. So, but um, I think he's definitely a better fighter when he's with Ann Wolf.